the next aspect of running is the strengthening. Let me take you through some lower body strengthening exercises which are supposed to be done once or twice a week on the non-running days. Whether you are a recreational runner or a serious runner, strengthening your lower body is absolutely essential to prevent any knee injuries, especially when you are doing long runs. So the first exercise is called the squat, where you keep your feet slightly wider than your hips and toes slightly pointing out. And you're going to push your hips behind in this manner and use your glutes and your heels to come up. Let's do it one more time. Inhale down and exhale up. Keep your core gently active so that your chest is up. So you're not bending too much in the back, staying upright. And inhale down and exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Use the glutes and push through the heels as you come up. Do 10 of these only with body weight. And last three, inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Another variation of squats is when you combine it with calf raises, which is done in this way. So you inhale down, exhale up and do the calf raise at the same time. So you go down and push through to raise up the calves and come down. So this acts on your lower body, entire lower body. Inhale down, exhale and push through up and come down and go into the squat again. If you are a beginner, you can use the assistance of a chair by standing in front of it and trying to touch your glutes to the chair and coming up in this manner. And if you feel that this too is very difficult, you can sit down, keep your feet slightly wider than hips and make sure the, toe, the knees do not go beyond the heels. And just come up and sit down again. Push through the glutes and the heels and keep the core active and come up. Again, make sure that the knees do not go beyond the toe, beyond the toes or the heel, which can harm the knees. Now the second exercise is called the step ups. Use any chair or any high parapet and you can do this exercise. So inhale and as you push up, exhale and come down. Form a rhythm with your breath and make it a continuous action. So inhale down, exhale up. Again, imagine you're lifting from the navel and the hips simultaneously. And repeat 10 on the left and 10 on the right. This will help you strengthen your cords, your glutes, as well as your hamstrings. Control the upper body, you don't want to lean down. So you can do two to three sets of these two exercises with a rest of a minute each in between. Now this concludes the strengthening section. This combined with the first two, that is the dynamic stretches and the warm up, the core exercises and the strengthening exercises can make you a good runner. And you can even take the help of certified marathon trainers. There are many certified marathon trainers in the city as well as many groups that can help you devise a personalized running plan that have these three components. So wish you all the best.